What's goody YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. Bad news if you're a James Kirkler fan. Bad news. Remember that proposed fight that I mentioned they're going to have next week? I'm um, on February 20, what is it, the 24th or something? Out in Dallas, Texas, James Kirkland versus um, Miguel Cotto. Well, Miguel Cotto's back up to his diva ways, man. This fight's going to be at a catch weight of 153 pounds. Why the fuck can't they just fight at 154, man? You know what I'm saying? This man, James Kirkland, ain't fought in 15 months. He ain't fought since he got sparked out by the man Canelo Alvarez in Texas, his home state. And this fight, again, is in his home state. But he's coming in at a disadvantage, in my opinion, man. Miguel Cotto, man, why you don't just fight this man at 154 pounds? Even Canoli moved him up to 155, and truth be told, you know, it didn't really bother the man um, Kirkland because, man, Kirkland is a guy who balloons up in weight when he's not fighting. And this man hasn't fought in 15 months, and this man Canelo's back to his diva ways. Wants a catch rate of 153, man. He's looking for any advantage possible when really and truly, man, he should be able to beat this guy at 154 pounds. You know what I'm saying? James James Kirkland is a guy I really like to watch, man, and I'm always we're happy when he's back in the ring. But I don't like anybody to be coming in at a disadvantage, you know what I'm saying? Especially to a diva like Miguel Cotto, you know what I'm saying? And when I call the man Miguel Cotto a diva, it's because, you know, what he did to that man Sergio Martinez, you know what I'm saying? Actually making the man Sergio Martinez retired. Didn't even want Sergio Martinez to wear a knee brace with, his, with them bad knees he had. That goes to show you, man, that this man Miguel Cotto is looking for any possible advantage. And, you know, truth be told, he's probably not confident he could beat any 154-pounders at their legitimate weight, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the man James Kirkland is going to have to come in at 153 pounds. <sighs> man, I think he's going to be very vulnerable, man, and he might get sparked out, man. He ain't never been sparked out when he's been with Ann Wolf, and Ann Wolf will be in his corner, which I'm very happy for. I'm very happy and grateful for, you know, but, man, the odds is basically stacked against him, man. And, you know, I'd like to see James Kirkland pull off the upset. This fight shouldn't even be on HBO pay-per-view. I'm happy for the fight. Yeah, no question. It's a good fight, man. But, um, man, Miguel Cotto, man, just fight the man at 154 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Well, I could beg and plead all I want. Well, it's already set in stone. It's in the contract. The man, um... Uh, this is confirmed by the man, um, James Kirkland's lawyer, and I'm going to leave the article in the description box below, you know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think about Miguel Cotto pulling these diva moves and bringing this guy down to 153 pounds, a guy who ain't fought since, you know, May of 2015, you know what I'm saying? And a guy who balloons up in weight, a guy who's probably be up to almost down there 200, 200 pounds, if not more. When he's not fighting in the off season, all right? Be Marsh Box, let me know in the comment section what you think. And let me know if you think this is a good move by Miguel Cotto or you, is he back to his diva tactics, all right? I'll catch you on the next vid. Peace.